So today's today's plan is we're gonna go and yeah, we're gonna go visit the, the, the Goonies house, Astoria Bridge, and Haystack Rock. And then we've booked flights to Mexico. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Chase wants to see whales, which I'm excited. I'm You're excited. excited. I hope we get to. It's the season. Yeah, it's the season. Season of lots of rain. The whales are smart. They're going down south. It's the best advice you've ever given. Given. <laughs> if you look like a whale, feel like a whale, head south. What is that supposed to mean? To feel like a dolphin. <laughs> So we have been driving across, just entered Oregon, driving across the Astoria Bridge, and it is so long, and we're looking up, and it's kind of foggy, and it's windy, and we're not really sure what we're looking at, but it is now starting to go uphill, and we have the trailer behind us, um, things are just not as uh, smooth as I expected just this bridge to be. So, um, I'm feeling really grateful and really nervous for JC right at this moment. It's, it's like the, uh, you know when you're on a roller coaster and it's like click, 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 and it's taking you to the top before it just drops you to the bottom? That's what it feels right now, like right now. It's uh, pretty nerve wracking. Why you push the ones who love you away? Don't close the curtain on a brighter day. History could repeat it. Now it's time to get a little higher. When God made you and made a fighter, you just spent a little more time feeling lost than found. Hey. Alright, Chase, you ready to go? Almost got your lip. No. These are the things that you do as a vlogging channel that makes you just feel like a complete tourist. Parked our trailer on the side of the road in someone's neighborhood and just to look at a house in the pouring rain. <laughs> Should be fun. I have no idea what the house looks like. <laughs> Does someone live there? Somebody bought it and they're hoping to restore it because they're Goonies fans. So the last person that owned it shut it down and said no pedestrians, nobody coming to look at it. But apparently the new person is trying to restore it to its, like... Former glory? Yeah. It's a good idea. I love the entrepreneurial spirit of it. I just saw the most amazing thing in my entire life! First you gotta do the truffle shuffle. Come on! Do it! Come on! Do it! So this is Mikey's house from the Goonies. So it's like the, his, like one of the coolest things to do in Astoria, Oregon, apparently. <laughs> Besides the darn bridge that we drove to get here. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh my God, it's Mikey's house for the Goonies. <laughs> After we left the Goonies house in Astoria, Oregon, we cruised back down Highway 101 in hopes of catching a glimpse of Haystack Rock. All right, so we found a uh, nice RV parking as we missed the turn. And uh, now we're, we're headed to Haystack Rock, which I'm not particularly excited about because, well, it's windy, it's raining, and it's cold. But we told you we we're gonna do it. Yeah. So it's only a short walk up this giant hill and uh, we're excited about it. We're walking into the rain. Not excited about that, but readjust our rain gear tire and uh, you know, just... Chase is, Chase is loving it. Yeah, Chase is also the most prepared for this. He's uh, okay. got a proper rain jacket, he's got his rain boots. And like everyone from the Northwest, he's got his jeans tucked into his, into his boots. <laughs> but, cool town. Driving by it looked really cool. And it smells like really delicious food. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> Right there. Ah! 
video looks like, but pretty incredible. How freaking cold and windy it is. What do you think? bigger than I expected. It is huge. It's so cool. But it's so freezing and so wet that it's almost unenjoyable. I feel like that reporter that they're like, let's let's cut away to weather. It's like it's windy. Uh, tonight we're gonna be staying so I guess one mile turn right onto the native So I guess like the one thing that we kinda wanted to do was we kinda wanted to do more boondocking. Um, one because it's super expensive uh, to like go from campsite to campsite and it takes so long to like set up everything and we there's not a whole lot to do down like parts of the Oregon coast and we're trying to save some money and so right now we're headed to a overlander spot yeah. which uh, is a library yeah so hopefully um, once we get there Hopefully we don't see any signs that say like no parking. That would suck. Um, yeah, one of the, I think one of the main things that we try to do is um, if we're only going to stay one night, it doesn't really make sense to set up everything, especially if we're going to get up the next day and go driving and go see something else. So the um, reason for these I Overlander spots is trying to save money and kind of save time. So what's the verdict? So, it's still really cold outside. They do allow overnight parking. Said it's not a problem. Um, it's that little gravel lot that we passed. It doesn't cool. look that giant. Um, she did say that she normally sees people parked where her car is parked right now. But she didn't offer to move her car. <laughs> So right now we there's no way to turn around because her car is parked right there. So the library was a no go for the uh, the old Adventures Three. We uh, decided that our rig was just too big. They allowed it, but it uh, just wasn't going to work. As I drove past it and realized there's no place to turn around. It's on a busy street, and backing in just seemed like quite a quite a struggle. We are at Blue Heron French Cheese Company in in Tillamook, 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 Oregon. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this place looks pretty cool. Very safely. Thank you, Flood. Thank you, Bill. That's good. Cheers. Oh, we left a uh, Peninsula course. Golf Course <laughs> in Long Beach, Washington, and we took the drive all the way down to Oregon. So we, for our first stop was the Goonies House. Um, we drove across Astoria Bridge into Astoria, and we went and saw the Goonies House, um, famous for the movie Goonies, and it was Mikey's house. Um, then we took. 101 all the way down and we saw Haystack Rock. Um, walked in the rain, got soaking wet, but that was very fun. And we hiked. <laughs> we Haystack hiked Rock. <laughs> to Haystack Rock. And then after that, we continued on 101 and we tried to find a few different locations to um, stay for the night, but then we finally found one and we ended up at Blue Heron cheese company, I believe it is, for the night in Oregon, in Tillamook, Oregon. Like and subscribe! <laughs> yes, adventurous day to say the least. It was a challenging drive and a well-deserved beer at the end of it because, well, it's, uh, it's winter here, that's for sure. How's your ice cream? Amazing. Best ever? Yes. As good as the ice cream store that you're gonna open? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty good. Anyways, we gotta suck these down and then take off. Do you think they'll make popcorn tomorrow? Chase, you wanna tell us what we're doing? So, we are 
stuck in our trailer because it is flooded outside. I just uh did that video, so make sure to check it out. And I am real. I it's like a lake out there. It sure is. Mhm. Mm so. Yes, we are stuck in the trailer today. It, we pulled in late last night to our Hovis host, had a cocktail, and then it proceeded to blow like 40, 50 miles an hour uh, at times last night. So Caitlin and I have not gotten a ton of sleep. We even put together a little action plan if our trailer tipped over, which is never good at two in the morning when, when things just sound like hurricane force winds, which at times it was a it was just frustrating to know that we're gonna wake up we're not gonna really be able to do anything so I'm sitting here thinking and just a bit frustrated to say the least it uh yeah it's it's frustrating to be stuck in the uh, in the trailer especially when it's it's crazy like you check so we one of the things that we use uh, quite often is called rvweather.com and it literally simply said it is unsafe to travel right now in a travel trailer in the Northwest, which we're in. There are areas that we were in that are going to be experiencing a blizzard here in a couple days. And then where we're at, we're expected to have these just 60 mile an hour gusts, which has made it impossible to drive down the road, especially on the ocean. So that's a bit frustrating. Um, but I think tomorrow it's going to be a little bit safer to drive and we're going to head to, uh, we're going to head to the beach and check out the waves because of the waves are apparently supposed to be like 20 to 30 feet, which is great. It's just crazy. I I've never seen a wave that big. So hopefully we'll be able to capture that. Um, and then move on to our campsite, which hopefully I'll be able to tear apart the trailer to figure out what's wrong with our water pump because that has caused all kinds of cool issues. Like, you know, we're like really camping, except our tent is, you know, pulled behind our trailer. Um, we're not, we haven't been able to shower. <laughs> we're brushing our teeth with water bottles. It's just, you know, we're, it's, it's just another, it's just another challenge to say the least about this lifestyle, which no one really talks about. No one ever, I mean, they mentioned it, they glanced over it, but in all reality, we're going to talk about it because why not? These are the dips. These are the dips. So like we first started this journey, like we we're on this high, you know what I mean? We we're way up here, way up here near the ceiling. And right now we're pretty low, but we'll get over it. We'll, we'll get better. The weather will get warmer. Blow us right through. <laughs> It'll blow us right into the ocean or right down the road. You never know. <laughs> 